Uh, yo, what's going on guys Zen master back again with another video and in today's video we're gonna be talking about apex legends man an og game for me i used to play when it came out i stopped playing it though but i definitely like the game and i just wanted to play it again and test out some values so guys i'm gonna start with the r301 you know probably the best gun in the game I, I believe it's still the best gun in the game i remember when i played it was and yeah i'm gonna show you what it looks like right now without any anti-recoil as you guys saw in that clip i laser beamed my friend from pretty far can i see how long that is at 50 meters now i'm gonna shoot at this 50 meter distance without any anti-recoil on just to show you how it looks so when i just aim and fire like it's literally shooting straight up bro like what i showed you in that clip like you should not be able to do man. that's like pro level aim and anti-recoil control so i'm gonna shoot one more time just to show you what it looks like from that distance and this is with no attachments on too, so keep that in mind. Uh, I'm gonna shoot a closer distance, what is this, 30 meters, without the anti recoil on. And as you can see, my, it's really, it's shooting up, you know what I'm saying? It is definitely shooting up. Yeah, so now I'm gonna toggle on the anti recoil. This is without attachments. I'm gonna show you with attachments as well. And let's shoot at this target right here. And this is without me touching my right stick, so. As you guys can see, like if there was an enemy there, it would be absolutely game over, guys. So let's see this enemy right here. That's what I'm touching the right stick. The only issue is with the anti recoil, there is like. So this is me not touching the right stick. I'm trying to see if the aim assist will just kick in and help. So as you can see, like anti recoil wise, man, like it's barely moving. And when I want to control it, it's the slightest bit down. You know what I'm saying? Slightest bit down. And I'm literally getting all my bullets on target. So the pack that we're using, guys, is going to be the community pack. So the uh, Apex Legends, whatever season, I believe season 10 community pack. In the next video will be a full, complete guide, the best aim assist and everything, because I definitely feel the aim assist. Yo, come here. Yo, where you at? <clears throat> You're up there. Okay. So I'm going to show you how good it shoots on enemies. So my friends over here, I turned on a friendly fire. And this is with no attachment. I'm going to add on some attachments as well to show you how much better it actually gets. So let's aim at my boy right here. And that's just aiming and firing, guys. All right, literally aiming and firing. I can get him to, with him without shield, pretty much dead. That's what just aiming and shooting. So let's say I try to control it. All right, so, so you pretty much you saw how that worked. Now I'll put on a clip on the gun and I got my boy. He's standing pretty far away and he's got blue shield on. So let's see what we can do from just aiming and firing. So I'm not touching my right stick. I wish I could show you that I'm not touching it. But I mean, when you input the values that I'm going to be putting out on the spreadsheets, you will be able to get the same exact uh, setting. So I'm going to aim, fire. As you can see, it does pull up a little bit. Now, when we aim and we pull down very little, look at this. All right. So simple. I, bro, like, I don't even play this game and I'm literally absolutely lasering. And obviously, you know, you can obviously adjust the anti recoil with how you want. And keep in mind, this is with no scope. So, being able to kill someone like that in Apex Legends, like I've watched a gameplay, like this is definitely an amazing kill and not an easy thing to do. So, we're going to try it one more time. He's going to get his shield up. And you know what we're going to do? We're going to add on a sight. So, we're going to add on this sight. Let's see how the anti recoil changes. So, it definitely does change with the, uh, with the sight. Let's try this one out. So it definitely changed a little bit with the sight, and you're gonna have to decrease it by a couple of values, but that's not an issue. What if you zoom in? Yeah, so when you zoom in, like everything's gonna change it, but it's not gonna be even that much of an issue because the aim is helped so much. As you can see, the stick is absolutely insane. So we got a boy up here with red armor now, all right, with red armor, and let's see if I can get him out with one clip. So I can crack his arm with one clip, and then I can aim again, and then get him out. All right. So that pretty much just shows you how good this um, script actually works, man. For for the R three hundred one, like it works absolutely insane. So I'm gonna add on actually the barrel stabilizer now, and I'm gonna add on the stock. So let's see how the values change. I'm gonna use the same valves I was just using with the barrel stabilizer. And it's not even that much of a difference. You know, it's really not that much of a difference. We just decrease our Y by a couple of values. 
And when we decrease our y by a couple of values, boom, just like that. And you know, the spreadsheet will have every single variation, not, not, sorry, not every single variation, but pretty much the most important variations, you know, the ones with the barrels, the guns with no attachments and the guns with the sight. So as long as you keep the spreadsheet close to you, when I complete it, you'll be able to adjust it on the fly. You know what I'm saying? Especially when I show you how to um, set up the pack with your controller and set up the pack, you know, with the value. So we're going to shoot one more time with this, uh, the barrel stabilizer. He's got red armor on from how far is that? 40 meters, which is a long, which is not a close distance. You know, so you're not normally going to be out in the open like this in Apex. Um, you'll probably be with your teammates near cover. But yeah, let's see how it works. So we're going to just aim and fire. And we almost killed him with a full clip just like that. So, and then boom. And then that's me literally shooting on an enemy the first time. Like you guys are seeing this for the first time. Yeah, I haven't played this game for like two years. Like I had no idea how to play this game. And I feel like I can hop on and just absolutely laser anybody. Um, we're going to try to test stuff from a little bit longer for this last test before the video ends. I will make a video on every single weapon. Just uh, showcasing the anti-recoil and the values and how they work. So go really far away. Bro. Okay, see that. All right, so now we're going to test it out from super long. You can't even see my teammate or my friend, but I'm going to shoot it from this distance. See if the values work from super far. And yeah, let's see. Yeah, it is a little bit difficult. You do have to control. You definitely can't just aim and fire, but I mean, from this distance, it's definitely not bad. Like, I can't even see him, man. I'm not. Even, I can't even see him. So let's put on a, a, a zoom. And it's definitely not bad. He's moving a little bit too. Yeah, it's not terrible, man. You know what I'm saying? It's not terrible. It's obviously not perfect, but if you expect to laser somebody from that far and just rely on the chronos, then it's not going to work out for you. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this Apex Legends video. I will be having a full spreadsheet with all the values coming out within the next couple of days. Hopefully by next week. And yeah, man, I'm so excited. I might as well. I might even be playing Apex as well. And I will drop some gameplay to show you how it actually works in game against enemies that are moving, you know, shooting back and all that. Uh, but yeah, man, I hope you guys enjoy the video and take care.